Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. Yeah, as you can see, the building behind me is finished. Um, this video is just, is you're going to see the process I went through of building and putting this structure together. I hope you all enjoy. Anyways, on to the video. I decided to unofficially make this just a, a little diner area. So yeah, that's what we're going to do this video. Um, if you're wondering why I haven't made any Roblox videos as of late, it's because the OBS game capture, to be specific, does no no longer works with Roblox, and this is due to a Roblox update. The devs the devs point the finger at Roblox, and Roblox doesn't say shit. I've tried contacting them, no no dice. So uh yeah. We're stuck with Minecraft for a bit until I can get a better recording software that will actually allow me to make these videos on on Roblox. So, uh, yeah. Disappointing, but not, not much I can do about it. Trust me, I've tried.
All right, as you can see, I've kind of been getting the framing in for this. Um, to be honest, I don't know the exact interior layout I want to do for it just yet. But as you can probably guess, this is going to be like, I guess, the dining area, kind of, you know, communal booth stuff like that. There's going to be a divider here or like a little uh, something. I'm going to use these blocks to give an example of what's going to be here. It's going to be a different material, probably wood. And that is going to be going like that. So there's going to be this here. This is going to be filled in with a different block. This is just a placeholder for right now. Um, This is going to be the kitchen and storage area. I'm going to ha I'm going to be partitioning this off into like half and half. So like right here is going to be the kitchen and this is going to have some storage for food and whatnot because uh yeah. So, yeah, I think some of the framing is going to be changed. We're obviously not going to have a window here because there's, like, animals and stuff back here. And that's not very interesting to look at. Um, neither is this, but it's... Yeah, I mean, it's not in a very optimal spot. But there, there is enough here. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, So yeah, uh, sorry about that. I'm kind of, I'll pause what I'm watching right now. But uh, yeah, this is like, kind of want to do polished around these. Add some block variation to this that's not seen in the other builds. Oh god. Yeah, I have an auto clicker, but it's just for digging out large portions of ground.
That like that 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 right there looks decent enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some windows in. I'm doing this now before I forget to and end up having to do it after I finish putting in stuff. Like I don't I want to get the windows in before I get the roof in. Um. There we go. Glass panes. That right there fits. I'm going to do some stuff with the exterior, but that's got to wait for right now. Um, onto another montage, I guess.
we're gonna start now this year we're gonna get up we didn't polish that really only need these two because that's what we're dealing so we have all this extra hard space right here and we're gonna go over here grab some smokers which we're at it uh, I will see up here, we're gonna go ahead and see them again. Yeah, that works. We're gonna go ahead and use the screw trap doors. It's over here, grab our screw trap doors. These are really cool. We don't have to flip those right here. Actually, something backwards. Um, looks good, I guess. That's kind of area. I might have a guest book somewhere like, I think we can fit in here. Um, yeah, I think we can fit in here. We've got a lecture. And anyway, what should be the utilities? Yes, it is. Plop that down there. Yeah, this is a little weird, so I'm gonna grab one of the pots that we're adding, plus a flower pot because we can. We're gonna go down our pots, and we're gonna grab the day, that's enough. I see the flower pot, like, look up. We're gonna use this thing here. This is an operating utility, by the way, these are the things that do exist in, uh, in the game, but they're not used in most of the code, because basically, basically, they're not used in it. I don't wanna put them to, uh, put them to use. I don't wanna put them to use. I don't wanna put them to use. Um, we, of course, have some serious stuff that we're doing, so I'm gonna keep up this video. We're going to do the exterior stuff, I've kind of got to do this beforehand, so we're doing it now. Now we're going to go here and grab the fresh onions that we used, a mix of birch and mangrove, I believe. It's like off-white color thing, so we're just going to go ahead and, um, oh, I think you forgot the blue. I just actually want to see this. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the out here because I'm gonna have some time right now. I kinda wanna have this done by a certain time tonight. Okay, we got that one, it's your lane, but let's now focus on this. So, this area over here is actually not finished. Let's go back to the back of the fast forwarded.
All right. It is looking finished to me. I still have to put in a brewing stand. I kind of forgot about that. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. God, this is going to be very cramped. There we go. That's this project finished. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I hope I remember to speed up some of the footage along the way. And yeah, uh, that's this. That's the gray district for now finished. And I say that for now as in I may be doing another expansion project very soon here. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. This is the diner. I like it. I like the interior of it. Again, exteriors for this district aren't very important. It's what's inside that matters. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. If you if you re, if you got into this this far, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button because obviously you've enjoyed this video. I will be putting more effort into my editing going forward because I will be swapping editors within the next year. Sometime next year, I will be swapping to a new editor um, because the current one that I have isn't doesn't have all the features that I need to do full production videos. So... I'm kind of running on fumes right now. And you know what? The more subscribers I get, the faster I can get to monetization, the better content I can put out overall um, in, the, in the future. So yeah, anyways, thank you for supporting me and I will see you in the next one.